part Sosilva, part MP CNC. This is kind of an odd duck. It's a mashup of some parts from the mostly printed CNC machine and the Sosilva. I built both of these within the last three, four months, and they're both really cool CNC machines. The mostly printed CNC, it was a lot of fun to make and print the parts. Uh, it was a really cool project. But there were parts from both of these CNC's that I liked and both of them had some things that I was not too fond of. So this is a combination of both. One thing I didn't like with the Sol Silva was the bracket arrangement. Either bending the aluminum or some of the 3D printed mounts that I had made. So this seems like a really cool combination of the two. These are the cars, the 3D printed cars for the mostly printed CNC and they work really well with this design. As far as holding these down, I'm going to put some flat stock across here, bolt these two together, and then this and this holds onto the side. We'll drill some holes through here, run those through, and hold those nice and tight. I also lowered the whole system. When I built the Sol Silva before, I did the whole base under it, and it sat really high. I like to put it in the box over there, and I needed to get that height down a little bit and nothing is bolted down yet as far as holding this part on but we've got some real nice gentle movement just with the clamps holding it on and for the box in the middle real light touch nice and whisper quiet in order for the mostly printed CNC cars to slide, I needed to get the conduit up higher than what we had with the Sol Silva. So I've got some washers here and a bolt down there, and this holds it up nice and high, just goes through and bolts underneath. Once this is finished, we'll have a cut area of about 18 by 24, which is a little bit smaller than the Sol Silva, which was around 24 by 24. It's a little bit smaller also than the mostly printed CNC but it should be a lot beefier. I still need to design some mounts on the side for the rod. We're going to have threaded rod on both sides and then configure the electronics. But it should be a beefy machine and I look forward to using it. Thanks very much for taking a look.